So, welcome to our second video, which this time we're going to demonstrate in situ CBR testing, which is uh, an empirical measure of ground strength normally used for uh, road design. So for this test we need a uh, reaction load, some sort of dead weight to, to use and uh, for in situ CBRs by the British Standard Method we're going to be using our vehicle, this pickup. So the first thing we've done is attach a uh, bracket, that blue, that blue angle bracket there, onto the back of the vehicle and to that we're attaching the uh, loading jack which will apply the pressure to the ground. And there we have the loading jack in position and uh, we're ready for the next stage of assembly. So what we're going to do here is raise the back of the vehicle so it's clear of its suspension. So when we're trying to wind the CBR plunger into the ground, we're not uh, just lifting the vehicle up instead. So we're trying to get the, the back wheels near enough clear of the ground and then we'll use axle stands to support the vehicle and we can remove that car trolley jack. And we're just about there it looks. And so with the jacks in position, the axle stands rather, we'll release the pressure and then hopefully the vehicle will rest neatly on top of the axle stands. We have the jack down, we can then move that out of the way and continue with the assembly. And as you can see the vehicle, the rear of the vehicle has been jacked off so the, the rear wheels are just about clear of the ground. Okay, so now we have assembled the load ring which will measure the load that we'll be applying and there that larger gauge is a penetration gauge which will measure how far the plunger is penetrating into the ground as we wind that handle there. And on the bottom we have two surcharge discs as well. So the only thing we need to do now is set up the datum bar. So we pop the datum bar into position so it's nice and firmly into the ground and the plunger on the gauge is just resting on the datum bar. And we keep the legs of the datum bar away from the penetration area so it's not influenced by the settlement of the plunger into the ground. It's completely independent, hence it's called datum. So as you can see we've applied a preload of around 40 newtons uh, which for our proving ring works out a load of about 250 newtons which is the appropriate preload for a CBR of uh, over 30 which is what we're expecting. So now we are fully assembled. The intent of the test then is to wind that plunger into the ground so it penetrates at a rate of approximately one millimeter per minute. So this is the actual plunger. As you can see it's a hardened steel and a 50 mil diameter. And as we start to wind we'll record the load in quarter of a mil increments until we reach seven and a half millimeters penetration or we've reached full loading and uh, the, the rear of the vehicle has moved up so we can't penetrate any further. So as you can see as, we, as we're winding the handle the penetration gauge is moving clockwise indicating there's some penetration and the top gauge is showing increasing load. So we're continuing to, to wind the handle as the penetration goes in and the load increases. And there we have the penetration gauge. You can see the needle moving towards 50 divisions and that's the penetration 
in one hundredths of a millimetre. And this is the CBR test in action. Very strong material, hence quite a, uh, quite a high winding speed. And now the test is complete. We've reached the required penetration. So we begin disassembly of the, uh, the apparatus. And first there you saw the datum bar being removed and the surcharge discs. And now we have to remove the load from the load ring, which we'll use the car trolley jack again. And we'll use that to get the vehicle up slightly, just to release the pressure on the load ring so we can then remove it. So now the trolley jack's made contact and we jack it up and we can tell on the load ring that we've reached zero division so the load is now off and then we can remove that assembly. So the uh, load assembly is removed, we just remove the axle stands and then we can release the car jack and bring the vehicle back to normal. Easy does it. And there we go. And ready to move on to the next test position. Well, I hope you found that video informative. And of course, if you'd like to book any in situ CBRs anywhere in the UK, then you can get hold of me directly at our website www.hickstra.com. Thanks for watching.